Welcome to Microsoft Excel 2013 Basics for Business. My name is Jeff Borshua and I will be your instructor. I've worked in the accounting world with Excel literally since it was first available in the late 80s and early 90s. I've been an avid fan of the software and can't imagine modern business without the tools and functionality that Excel provides. In this course, I will focus on the basics of Excel 2013, specifically in a business context. I will also share a few of my favorite tips along the way. I'm focusing specifically on Excel 2013, as the previous versions have been covered in detail on the internet already. Personally, I prefer to use shortcut keys because I am very familiar with them. However, I will focus on the ribbon interface in this tutorial as this is the major distinction between Excel 2013 and previous versions of Excel, especially 2003 and earlier. Excel generally has at least three different ways of doing things. Shortcut keys, menu, and the ribbon interface. In this course, we will cover a quick tour of Excel 2013 based on my experience. We will talk about how to name and save workbooks and worksheets, basics of text formatting, entering data, assigned cell formats, autofill data and sequence, calculating totals with autosum, average minimum and maximum values, absolute referencing, Essential formulas, or formulae if you want to be technical. Freezing columns and rows. Navigation shortcuts. Advanced formatting, including merge and center. Best practices for spreadsheets. Copying and moving spreadsheets. Introduction to charts, including column, line, bar, and pie charts. Adding comments to your spreadsheet. Sorting, filtering, and formatting for printing. Throughout this course, we will create a sample spreadsheet to demonstrate how Excel can be used to analyze a business. In our example, we will analyze quarterly sales for a hypothetical company called ABC Company. <music> 